Welcome back to Divine Bold Beginnings 93. This is going to be, it's going to be the air sign spread. Just a sneak peek from the end of May into the beginning of June. I would just like to say happy birthday, air sign, Gemini. Um, yeah, it looks a, a little elaborate, but... I wanted to give y'all a little something extra. I do have some angel messages that I would like to read first. But before we get into that, I just want to say, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. Let's get started. So for your angel messages, you have, no, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other opportunities and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you also you are at the end of a cycle in your life call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step happiness awaits you to help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. And we have your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. And the last card we have is you are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to console others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. I hope you guys like the angel message. Let's go into you guys reading, okay? So the way these cards down here work is this one is for Gemini, this one is for Aquarius, and this one is for Libra. Let's go into Gemini first. Gemini's, what you're looking for is coming up to you in June. A little bit. Not everything, but a little is coming forth to make the situation better. We have here the Ten of Cups and we have the Four of Wands. So together, that's kind of signifying and telling me like you're thinking about a family situation to come about. And right now, you're working on getting your stabil stability together. Uh, when this situation occur for you, what's going to happen is it's going to drive you into a better, happy you. Um, I feel as though things may be disconnected. It's a few blockages that has to be cleared. But overall, this situation is for you. This situation is your new beginning. We'll know more once we go into our roundabouts. We'll know more. Also, connecting you, we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups, to me, signify it could be lovers. But it do signify a relationship. A relationship you're looking forward to try to move into um, for some I feel as though this relationship you may think it's everything but your true lover is at the next door that opens for you so okay so, let me tell you what I'm feeling. Some, the person you with now is not the one you seek to love. We'll get into that more in your June. But, you do have love on the table, definitely. Let's go into Aquarius. Aquarius. Right now, you're going into trying to communicate. You have the Ace of Ace of Swords here with the Knight of Cups. So, air signs, you guys are into a lot of love, I see. So, Aquarius, 
in June, communication comes about, about love. So either you're going to meet someone new or someone from the past is definitely going to give you something that is worthwhile. We have the celebration card. So I'm telling you, someone is really giving you what you deserve. Let's say that. Okay, and Libra. Libra. You guys have the Nine of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Okay, so with the Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles being here together, I feel like someone is working on themselves. Um, you're getting your Pentacles together. So you could go into higher commitments. It could be a job commitment here. Or it could really be a love commitment. You're looking for wedding. Uh, you may have an engagement coming towards you. If it's not right now, the engagement is like someone committing solely to you in love. It's something you don't know. Not everything is bad that you don't know, but some of it is going to be a little off. It is going to make you question if you should really stay in this situation or not, which I feel like you're going to stay. And I feel like this situation is for you. It's just a test. Okay, let's get into it, you guys, because this is a very elaborate story. And I really see a lot of love here. So, on this side, this is, okay, let's do this sneak peek into your new beginning. Who's ever, hold on, come on, here we go. Who's ever concerned about love is coming forth to you. This could be a love that maybe you've been weighing up your options about. Yeah, I feel like you're wearing up your options. And with that, you know, you you figured out that this person that you're thinking about or that you want to be in a relationship with, they're your wish fulfillment. They're everything you want in a relationship. If this is not a relationship, this is you and a boss coming together. Not necessarily creating a position for you, but you're getting a higher position than what you're in now. The next card we have. This one. It's like, I'm feeling... Things are going to come out, but it's going to be unexpected things. As things are coming to the light from the dark, it's going to be very unexpected when it approaches you. And that's very rare for an air sign to hear that. We have the strength card. So whatever comes out to you. Okay. Let me say this. Because sometimes air signs feel like. When someone don't understand them. That person is technically like not for them or. Okay. When an air sign. Sometimes you guys. When you guys try to tell your point of view and then the feedback you get is not really what you want you feel like someone is attacking you and i feel like you've worked through that maybe a little before may but you worked through it and now when this person that you dearly love and care about when they tell you something that maybe triggers that old thing you have the strength to take a deep breath, sit back, and listen to what they're saying because they're really actually pouring their heart out to you about how they want to move forward with you. 
don't take everything as a direct hit um i feel as though this is definitely a communication situation like maybe communication was a little broken or maybe you're not for sure how someone really feels about you but in this situation this person they really care about you a lot and this conversation will be about some of the things they don't like that you do and some of the things they do like that you do it's a kind of a critique relationship message like um it is vice versa it's for both ways so you're gonna say some things and they're gonna say some things but when these when these secrets come out because a secret can be a little i was about to say a little white lie but i don't want to say that it secrets can be something that you don't know about someone that you thought you probably knew or you didn't know to the depth of them I feel like this situation, what's going to come out is not all as bad as you think it is for some. For others, this is a conversation to express how you really feel and get it out in the open. We have the sun card on top of that. So once this conversation is had, and taken care of that's when things really start to flourish and go about life start working together and that's where it goes from here into here okay so let's go up to the top at the top we have the seven of pinnacles this is gonna be for the end of may I feel like you again we're we're still in that moment of you sold your seeds you're waiting for them to flourish so okay guys since we're done with this I want to pull this down a little bit so I'm gonna take these up and excuse excuse my sinus because it's really clogging my nose right now okay let's do this let's let's pull everything down Okay, so the thing about this, I feel as though some of you aren't taking that action that you're supposed to take just yet. And I feel like you're in caution mode. It's like the energy of waiting. Like, I think you've, okay, I feel like some of you want someone else to take that push and jump and leap but it's not on them it's on you and i want to say it's like everything's not about you um and i'm not saying that in a in a <clears throat> excuse me in a mean way what i'm trying to say is sometimes you have to put forth the effort maybe whoever i'm channeling right now you're so used to people coming to you that it's time for you to step up and take that leap of faith it's time for you to step up and go about what's for you the next card we have is the hangman you're seeing things in a different perspective you're seeing things like I said, not only in your way. Um, it will. It could have been some conflict you were going through because we do have the Five of Swords here, and this conflict it just it mainly showed you who people really were around you, and it wasn't. It wasn't like it was a physical conflict. It was something that was mentally done to you. Mentally said, 
manipulated. But don't get don't get it wrong. You were part of that manipulation and you were a manipulator too. You just didn't see it that way until you sat back and looked at it. You were doing things to get your own kicks. They were doing things to you to get their own kicks. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be your lover, your ex-lover. Whatever you ate of cups and you're getting rid of, because we do have the eight of cups here. Whatever you're trying to get rid of, or whatever you did already get rid of, or it's like the little bits and pieces that are lingering left, it's reflection. Like you're going through this reflection of what used to happen, what used to go down, which moved you forward, which is the next card, the chariot. Now you're moving forward and you ready to take off. You ready for the wheels to get turning. You have the eight of wands here. Okay, here we go. So the Eight of Wands is you in communication. I feel for some the communication is with the Divine. And that's why you have the Wands here. Or you could have reached out or you're going to reach out to someone you really care about. Through this heartbreak that you went through, the tower came down and now you want to just you want to tell them, like, look, this is what I've been going through. But despite all this heartbreak from either your family, your ex-lover, your current lover, whichever scenario is for you, despite that, you come out strong as the emperor. No, I'm sorry, not the emperor, the king of swords. But not only are you the king of swords, you have your queen of sorts right next to you so it's like you're guarded I can definitely feel a guardedness but you're guarded to certain people you're not guarded to the one you want and you feel as though once this starts taking off again or if you're in communication now that they're guarded about you Remember, even if you are a male, you don't have to be a male or a female to come into the king and queen of pentacles. It could be vice versa, gender is whichever one that's um, taking over you at that moment. Right now, I feel like these are two hurt people. That was just like a major energy shift. Uh, two hurt people where both of you are standoffish right now. Both of you... You're kind of waiting on the other person and the other person is waiting on you to communicate. He has his sword across his body, ready to fight, and she has her sword up like, what you want to do? Because if you don't come correct, you can keep stepping. And I feel like that's how this conversation maybe you feel within yourself is going to happen. Or you envisioned it that way. Or maybe because you stepped away from this situation. You feel as though the person you hurt the most is the one you love the most. But you feel that they're not going to receive you. The way you think they're going to receive you. So you got to come with everything flowing. Right? Like I said. I feel like there's some sorries to be said. It's going to happen. Because like over here. Like we said. We had this communication coming in. So. Right now, what you're focusing on could be getting yourself together, getting your stability together, getting your money situation together. So you can move into this love relationship of higher commitment. Higher commitment to yourself. You're ready to take off. This is, this role is kind of finishing out the energies of May into some of the energies of 
June. The Eight of Cups is here. So, the Eight of Cups is, is some more things you need to get rid of. Maybe you need to clean your house out. Do a little summer cleaning. I know they say spring cleaning, but I say a little summer cleaning. I feel like right now, you're kind of clearing things up before you go about taking this love relationship. Because you don't want anything to hold y'all back. We have the Knight of Cups here. I'm on the bottom row now. The Knight of Cups is you wanting to go forth with telling this person how you feel. And you're making the plans. This person that you're thinking about could be in their own venture right now. And when I say their own venture, I mean... They could be adventurous. They could be creative. This person is going about their own business. Not saying that they don't love you. But they're going about their own venture. This could be... Okay. Okay, because now I'm getting something else. This relationship or this situation could be one that you pushed down and left dormant. And you tried to push, keep it down. Like, I see someone trying to keep it down. Like, every time you think about it, you're like, no, no, no. But, again, it keeps popping up to you. This this situation keeps coming up to you. And I feel like that's why the tower came down. Because as much as you was trying to shield yourself from saying that this could be for you, is as much as it kept coming up like a, a burp. It kept trying to continue to dig itself out. Every time you put the rock, sand, whatever you want to put over it. Every time. You could even try to put semen over this situation. And it still would have came up. This is something that is divinely guided to you. And that's why you have the four swords here. Because you're trying to go and retreat like, okay, I know this for me. How do I get it? How do I get it back? And I don't want to say it, but it's like, I want that old thing back. You got to put it on the line. You got to put everything on the line. That old relationship, we're going to go over to this side. The old relationship was an illusion. That person said they loved you. Mm, grant you. You were the only one that was doing work. That's the second card over there. And then we had a moon card. So, it's like, it was things that you weren't aware of. Yet, and still, this person is telling you that they love you. They could have been laying in the same bed with you at night. They could have been going about like you guys were a happy family. But because of these secrets coming out, because of you using your instinct, <laughs> that's what brought the wheel. Will of Fortune. Things start spinning in your way. You start seeing things. For what they really were. This was the conflict that you were facing. This is your new beginning. This is the old conflict. That person was trying to present you with their love as much as they wanted to. But they didn't know how. I'm not saying that when somebody don't know how to present love. That you should just walk away. No. They were being very vindictive. They were using you for what you had. They. I don't know. It's like a devil energy. Like they were doing something to hold you there. Like it could have been something sexual. It could have been. It could have been children. But whatever they did. They were holding you. Kind of hostage from yourself. Not hostage from someone else. They were holding you hostage from yourself. You couldn't think. You you didn't have that freedom to be you. You felt like it was it was a battle every day. Like you were just sitting still. But with this new person, they make you feel wanted. They make you feel happy. They are part of your joy. 
but you had to go through these dark nights to get to this wish fulfillment this emotional fulfillment this deepened love this person mirrors you and that's why you got the king and the queen here and then you got the king and the queen down here I'm sorry, that is not the king. That's like this is like an upgrade from the actual king's page, page of wands. But this is something that's divinely guided that you try to mask. Once you've met this person, once you this could be a new love coming in for you, but I feel like for some of you, this is old love. And when I say, oh, love, I'm not saying, like, oh, you know, this is something that withered away. It never left. It never left you or them. This is someone you want to marry. Higher commitment. You, you got your cup. Some of you are going to be traveling. Someone's traveling. If it's not you, it's them to get to you. Remember, this is a collective message, so take what resonates and leave what does not. But you got the strength to pull it all together. You are the glue that holds this together. It's like you Velcro. And when you decided to peel yourself apart and let them just sit there and wonder, why did you do that? You know what, right? But you know that that's the truth that you got to stand in that happened. You have to stand in your truths. Let your truths be known. Because this person, they want to know that. They want to continue experiencing things with you. It's up to you to open up to them. You're getting your finances together. You're starting to work even harder than you worked before. But it's that leisure hard. It's that work where... You doing it for what you want, not for someone else. Someone's making plans. Whoop. Someone's making plans. And I think it's you. Whoever I'm speaking to, I think it's you. You making plans to get his love. You making plans so this can be forever. This is a forever relationship here. This is a lifetime partner. I hope you guys like my video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, again, please subscribe. If this resonated with you, if it didn't, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if it did or didn't. It doesn't matter. Um, I'll see you guys in your next videos. Welcome to Divine Bow Beginnings 93. This is going to be a sneak peek into the end of May. And then we're going to go into the beginning of June. As you can see at the top, this will be the end of May. And this will be the beginning of June. This will be the separation from Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. And this will you guys will be going into i do have a few angel messages for you guys so let's get started with the angel messages and then let's go into the reading the first angel message is serena i am the angel of abundance you will receive the money that you need and god is in charge of how that will happen the next card we have is Athena. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. Lilia is the next card. I believe that's her name. I'm sorry if I'm messing that name up. But 
It says, spend time alone in nature, meditation, I'm sorry, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. Spend time alone. Meditate in nature. Go out. Feel the air. Smell the air. Fiona. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receive divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. And the last card we got is Grace and Antoinette. To help heal the situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. So we're going to go into the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed your angel messages. Let's get started with the reading. For Aries, you're going into this new beginning. You have the death card for you. So, old things that weren't serving you before will start to dissipate, move out the way, and you will come into yourself more. Um, you'll become more spiritually inclined as well. For the Leos, we have the Fool card. So, what you're going into is, you could be going into a love relationship where you're jumping on this leap of faith. If it's not love, it's work related but I really feel like for Leo it's more love right now okay let's go into Sagittarius Sagittarius you have the justice card so what for you is happening in June is wrongs are being righted information is going to be coming to you of a situation that you're concerned about and then this is for everyone right here. This spread. This is um, coming out of May into June. And then, so let's go into the last few months of May. What's going on? Basically, you coming into this celebration. A beautiful celebration. We have the Three of Cups. The next card we have is the Ace of Wands. It's you coming into your creation. What seeds you set forth is starting to sprout. They're, they're coming up. They're growing. The next card we have is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands to me signify surveillance. It could be you watching someone else, but I feel like this is someone watching you to see the things that you're doing. I'm definitely getting two different scenarios here. So, for some, someone is watching you. It could be for a job offer. It could be for love as well. And then for others, fire signs, you're watching someone else. You're watching to see if they're about what they say they're about. But one thing I get a little bit here is that you're still sitting still. Or you're playing the roles. You're going with the grain instead of going without the grain. It's not such a bad thing though because the next card we have is judgment so what you're doing right now going from now until the end of May is benefiting you because now you have the judgment card here and the judgment is coming to you because you're going into fulfillment all these tests that you already went through and you came out with flying colors basically it's news of announcements. Something is really coming to you. I'm getting a few scenarios. Remember, this is for the collective. This is not a specific person reading. So take what resonates and leave what does not. This is this judgment card is here for transformation for some. 
Well, for everyone, really. It's a transformation into the new you. Not letting things that used to serve you negatively stay there. You're pushing that away. We don't have the Eight of Cups out here, but it's basically like the Eight of Cups. You're getting rid of things that are coming to the light that you thought were for you, and it's not. Right now, I feel like some of you... Some of you already awoken to your spirituality. I feel like some of you are still searching for your consciousness. And that comes about with this judgment card being here. The next card we have is strength. This is you getting the courage to speak up for yourself. This is you not holding back anymore. Not holding back on your gifts. Not holding back on what you want. You're going for it. Whatever you want. This is you coming through that triumph. And you just taking the bull by the horns and going. Okay. This is you guys fighting through. Them stormy weathers. And like look. I had the strength. I got the strength to come through. And. I'm here to take what's mine. It's no more letting what's mine sit still and someone else have it or for it to be vacant. The next card we have is the Two of Swords. Okay, the Two of Swords would normally be a decision. There definitely is a decision to be made, but this is you balancing out yourself. This is you going within to see what's for you, what you really want, and what you want to get rid of okay so after the two of swords we have the sun card which is great it's this new beginning coming about because you have done the work to get to where you want to be to get to where you need to be and that's the perfect card to end on because we go it could be oh i'm sorry the sun card could be about new birth as well. New birth doesn't have to mean you're getting pregnant, but it could mean that. It means the new birth into this new beginning for you. Um, with that, you could be feeling labor pains, but it's a new birth into this venture that you want to take on. And what is a great card to end on in May on the sun card because the next card you go to is the Ten of Wands. Laying down those burdens, letting things go. You have optimism on what's about to happen with this leap of faith that you're going to take for some. For some of you, you're walking in, into the door of abundance. You're walking into this door of a higher self of you communicating very well. Um... Some of you are just finding yourself, letting go of things that you thought you really, like hobbies you really wanted to pursue, but it's really like, that's not of me. That was just the people who I hang around with. And you kind of, some people are going to be angry because you're going to still be cutting them off. But it's to get to a higher self of you. And I feel as though the people who... Who really needs to be in your life will be there and they will understand what you're doing and remember when we have the ten of wands out here you're still a little vulnerable you're still a little tender about situations you may have a little fatigue problem going on your eating habits may change um, you may heighten your eating habits that's all a part of this sun card being here the new birth you like i said you can experience pregnancy issues like you know how they say sometimes when you eat when you're pregnant you're eating for two that could be something that you could be experiencing um you could be experiencing headaches because it's just it's flushing your body out basically your chakras are getting more aligned you're trying to break those blockages that you have and you're doing so very graciously um remember this is honor like you're honoring yourself make sure you always honor yourself make sure you do things that are suitable for you 
no one else can live your life but you, okay? Remember that. No one else can live your life but you. The next card we have is the Emperor. Strength, stability, power, security. This could be you finding ways to get your finances together. Um, I feel like some of you have money problems going on. Some of you have... Ooh, it's like, okay, let me just paint this picture for you guys that I'm seeing. It's like, you have a problem with telling someone exactly how you feel. It's like, it's not an insecurity, but it's kind of an insecurity at the same time. Like, it's like, you're, you're afraid of, okay, you're afraid of opening up about what you want with someone else <sighs> excuse me you guys my sinus is really acting up so my nose getting a little stuffy but you're afraid of speaking up um you don't want this person to be like everyone else and they're not trust me this person that you're thinking about for some they're not for others you're gonna see the true colors when the judgment card hits and that's fine because once that door closes, another one will open that's better for you. But for some, it's like you're shy, but you're the empress. I mean, you're the emperor. And it's not so much that you're shy. It's just that when you get around this person, they make you feel so vulnerable that you're afraid of really opening up. But that time has passed and it's time for you to open up and take that leap of faith. Um, yeah, I think that's all for that card. I feel, I just, I just feel like I can see someone like they're contemplating in their head. Like, should I, or should I not? Should I, or should I not? You know how sometimes when you're younger, um, you're outside, you're playing and you see a flower, you pick the flower and the flower has petals around it. And what you do with the petals is. Like, say you have a crush, right? So you pick off each petal and you say, do they love me? Do they love me not? Do they love me? Do they love me not? And I feel like that's what you're doing right now, whoever this is resonating with. I feel like one day you're in your head like, yes, I'm I'm totally down with them. They're for me. And then the next day you're like, well, what if? Like, you're kind of battling yourself back and forth. Like, well, what if they really don't, you know? And that's understandable because right now you have two swords out here. And swords are air. They're mainly in their head. So that's just something that you're portraying on right now. And then also we're going into Gemini season. So that's kind of maybe why the reason why you're going into that. Unless some of your ascendant signs have air in them. But I feel as though... You're going to come out of that. Don't worry about that. You're going to come out of that. This new beginning is going to begin for you. And you're going to be able to communicate how you really feel about someone. Let's get off that card. Let's go to the next card, you guys. We have the Three of Wands here. The Three of Wands, again, you got to make this decision. You're ready to explore. You're ready to discover new things. But it's up to you to go on and make that decision to take on what you want to do. Or you can stay stuck. You can stay sitting where you're at. But then, as soon as you do that, it's either two things that can happen. Door is going to begin to close for you. Or the second thing, the divine, the divine will definitely push you in that direction. And it will make things happen for you that, you, that you're sitting still on. It's like, they will just push you. In a direction that you're supposed to be going in. a direction that you're being led in. But you're kind of like veering off. It's going to push you. And the last card we have is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords. On top of the Ace of Swords you see the celebration. But not only is this the Ace of Swords a celebration. This is you fighting through triumph. This is your time. This is you having the power to conquer 
anything and everything. This is your strength. You got this. If no one ever told you today, I love you. Remember that Divine Bow Beginnings 93, love you all very much. And I'm glad that you guys support me and view my videos. If you will please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please give this video a thumbs up. I hope to see you guys in the beginning of June with a nice, fresh, new mind. And let's get into this new beginning because it's here for you, okay? Welcome to Divine Bell Beginnings 93. This will be for our water signs. Hello, hello, water signs. How are you, darlings? Okay. <laughs> okay, so this will be for our Pisces, our Cancer, and our Scorpio. I'm going to go into the angel messages first, and then we're going to get into the story. This will be from the end of May until the beginning of June. So, for our angel messages, we have here, spend time alone in nature, meditating about your desires and intentions. Ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective. It is safe for you to be powerful. You know how to be powerful in a loving way that benefits others as well as yourself. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. I am an angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Have faith. And the last card. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compress. I hope you guys enjoyed your angel messages. Let's go into what's going on. We're going to start off with, I'm going to go into Pisces first. And then we'll go about. Let's just go with the flow, right? So Pisces, you have the Three of Cups. To me, the Three of Cups is a celebration. It could be some birthdays coming up. But I feel like you're celebrate you're celebrating this newness that's around you. It's like you're sitting pretty on your throne and you're helping others. The next one will be for cancer. Cancer. Let's see. We got the Ten of Swords, Cancer. So the Ten of Swords to me is you're done with everyone BS. People who's basically been stabbing you in the back, going behind your back, doing things that you didn't know about. But you're at the 10, so that means it's an end to that. At this point, it's time to Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups and walk away, okay? Um, some of you may be dealing with family issues. If you're a Cancer, but in whichever case, it's a bright ending at the end of the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel, and you'll be fine. We have for Scorpio, we have the Ace of Cups. Scorpio, you are walking into wish fulfillment. I feel like this is a love situation or a work situation. But with the love part, it's... You're getting emotionally fulfilled by your partner. 
definitely get emotionally fulfilled by your partner. Um, maybe you guys are going on a vacation together, a retreat. But I feel as though in the summertime is where you both just mesh and connect and figure things out. Okay, so let's go into the upper cards from the end of May until the beginning of June. So we have the Magician card. And to me, what the Magician card is, this is something that you guys have been manifesting. This situation, you could have been in the dark about some things. I definitely see that. But through that, You've conquered, you've manifested, you became closer to your higher being. And this is for all the signs. You came closer to your higher being, which leaves you off as the empress. But not only are you the empress, you're waiting on something. You're sitting still. Not for long, though. Definitely not for long. Okay, so... That was the end of May. And this will be the end of May going into June. So this will be more of June than May. But this will be like the end little bits of May. So in the middle we have the devil and the ten of cups. It could definitely mean sexual union between you and your partner coming together. It could mean a pregnancy is about to come about because through sexual union... Some people do get pregnant. But it could mean this birth of this new beginning. This is someone that you're solely connected to. Maybe someone that kind of pushed you away. So they can do whatever they had to do. But whatever it is, you have a decision to make if you're going to stay, if you're going to leave. If you leave, another door will open. It will be more love. If you stay, this will be what you want. You feel as though if you come back with this cup of love, because things are now, we're on this side, things are now pouring in for you. You have the Ace of Pentacles over here. You have the Four of Cups. And you have the Ace of Wands. I feel as though you're being creative, maybe starting a business. Some of you are starting businesses. Some of you are going into spiritual practice. But whatever it is, is financed by the divine i feel as though you have this cup of love that's coming into you secretly with this four of cups i feel like you don't know that it's coming in maybe you've been out of communication over here with this two of swords so maybe you've been out of communication we have the five of pentacles and the three of cups so whatever situation that you were left in the dark about is coming back up Yes, it is. And it's celebration through this situation into that Ten of Cups. So, in June, that's when everything thrives. Your harvest starts to completely grow. I feel like for some of you, just for a few, you're going to be ending a love situation and walking into the door of happiness. For others... This person that you long for is the one that you're going to get. And even though this card is not out here, I feel like it has to do with engagement. That secret that's coming to you, that secret cup, the four of cups, it could be an engagement. But whatever it is, it's something that's going to be stable. Something that's going to help you continue on your path as well as you help them. It's something that's going to be equal and balanced. For you, Cancer, I feel as though, like I said, you're going to eat a cup somebody or more than one person. But once you do that, you walk into your wish fulfillment. Everybody is not meant to stay in your circle. The right ones will stay and the others will leave. 
this energy I'm getting is like more of you guys are being water signs. You're laid back. Normally, you're the one being assertive. You're being assertive in the areas you need to be assertive. But as far as love goes, you're sitting back. You're letting this love come to you. You're no more the chaser. You are turning into the runner. A mighty fine runner, I might say, because you look delightful to this person. You look edibly delicious. This person, <laughs> they're seeing you in a light of, this is always what I wanted. And I'm finally getting that. Again, this is a collective message. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. I feel like someone is biting their fingernails about you. Like you're kind of, at this point, I feel like you're incognito. Maybe you stop posting on your social medias where this person could see you. Maybe you block them. But to them, that's a chase to get back at you, to get to you, to get into your love and your good graces. It's like that's the fuel that keeps them burning inside for you. You are definitely getting your home life together. I feel like some of you have purged. You cleaned out the old. Continue to clean out the old. So when this new come into you, it's going to be right. And you're going to be ready. I thank you, Water Signs, for watching my video. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up yet, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next videos. Welcome to Divine Bowl Beginnings 93. This will be a sneak peek for the end of May until the beginning of June. And this will be for our Earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. So, I have a few angel messages I would like to get out to my beautiful Earth signs. And then we're going to go into the reading. So we have Crystal. And she says, have faith and hope because there is something positive and new on the horizon that you can't see yet. You, I mean, I'm sorry, your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. You are a spiritual teacher. You have the ability to console others and help them awaken their spiritual gifts and divine life mission. No, conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. You desire the best. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires. And don't compress. So I thank you guys for listening to my angel messages so far. Let's get into this new and, and approved reading, right? So for our Capricorns, we have the Two of Cups. Huh, Capricorns, you thinking about love? Ooh. Ow, right? 
Are you already married? Are you engaged? Because I definitely see that on the horizon. Now, let's go into our Taurus. Taurus, you have emotional fulfillment, Ace of Cups. What do you desire, Taurus? What are you looking for? Because this here is knocking at the front door. And for our Virgos, we have the Hermit. You going within to make sure that everything you desire is on its way. You going within to make sure that what you truly need to do and want is here. I understand that. I do. Let's go into this reading, right? Every time I say let's go into this reading, y'all. Uh, I'd really be like, let's go into this reading rainbow in my head. But don't worry about me. I'll be okay. Okay. So, let's get into what's going on. And remember, this is a collective message. That means this is not a specific message for someone. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Okay. So, we got the star card to start you off. So, I feel like things are looking up for you guys. Things that were divinely guided for you has come to you. The next card we have is the Ace of Swords. With a little bit of guardedness, you're taking on and you're moving forward. Communication. I feel like communication has been the key for you lately. Maybe if you've been telling people your stories of what happened in your lifetime and through those stories is what's helping you heal. You could be trying to communicate to someone else. I feel like for someone else, like if you're communicating to them, you're helping them get their life together as well. Maybe it's something you've been through and they're going through it now, but you're helping them come out of that. The next card we have is the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is, you have all your cups filled. You're waiting on that love. You have everything you desire. Not quite though, right? But you filled all your cups up and you put them on the shelf. They're not falling over. They're not ever going to get knocked over. But you put them on the shelf and you're waiting. You're just waiting. It's like... You feel like this person, whoever you're trying to get to or whatever is emotional fulfillment for you, is taking its sweet old time to get to you. But at the same time, it's like you're in your head about it. Like you don't want it to rush. Because you feel like you're still taking care of other things. But the next card we have is the Sun card. This new beginning is coming as fast as it wants to. It may even shock you a little bit. The next card after that we have the Nine of Wands. So you're, you're sitting there and it's like either you're sur surveillancing someone or someone is surveillancing you. Okay? Like, you're either checking someone's social media or they're checking yours. And I feel like they're going to reach out to you through your social media because the next card we have is the Eight of Wands. So it's going to be communication some type of way and I feel like it's over social media. If not, it's a personal text back and forth. But that's what sends you in a hermit mode. Like, you, you start to go and think about what they done before, which left you out in the cold, which goes into that five of pentacles. You're starting to think of the things other people have done to you that put you in that type of left in the cold position, right? But through that, even through all of that, you still got celebration here. The three of cups. Is someone you know getting married? Are you getting married? Are you all going out to eat, have fun? The Three of Cups is celebration. 
Maybe you completed something that was emotionally fulfilling for you. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Something that you're working hard for. But it's celebration through that. Because now you've completed it. Queen of Pentacles. You're sitting on your throne. You don't have to be a woman to embody a queen. You could be a male. It's just the energy that you're taking on. You're sitting there with your abundance. Your abundance is coming in. It could have, it could be flowing in right now, honestly. But not only is that type of situation going on for you, you're still sitting here thinking about the love, cup of love, emotional fulfillment. You fulfilled in other areas of your life. You're just thinking about that extra fulfillment. We have the death card here. The death card is for you to go into this new beginning. This new beginning already started a little bit. You probably had a little sneak peek of this new beginning after you start eight of cups and things and moving things around and probably clean a house. That's what I like to call it, clean a house. But you had a death card here. Death card into you could be balancing your finances, but whatever it is, you're balancing everything around you out. You're balancing. You don't want to live paycheck to paycheck no more. You don't want to just get by. You want to feel that stability, that comfort. And that, that's good. Judgment is here. Living your truths. If before you were struggling, then that's part of your testimony. That's something that maybe the next person needs to hear and not that you always got it. Judgment is here for truths to be told. Judgment is here for you to own up to everything. This new beginning is not about you shying away and backing off. This new beginning is here to show you, like, this is what you went through. But that does not define who you are. The situation you was in was a karmic situation. That doesn't define your heart, your soul. When one door closes, another always opens. You're never left alone. The divine God always have your back. Even when you don't feel it, it's there. I thank you guys for watching. If you haven't given this video a thumbs up, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a great day.